Welcome back. Still to come, Prof. Queen Sarah Beanie with recession-busting home improvement tips. But now it's time for your daily Downton treat with the Dowager Countess at her finest and in her finest. When does Grandmama arrive? She gets into Liverpool on the 15th, so she'll be here the day before the wedding. I'm so looking forward to seeing your mother again. When I'm with her, I'm reminded of the virtues of the English. But isn't she American? Exactly. <laughs> it's not just the storylines that we love about Downton Abbey, but the clothes as well. And today, we're going to show you how to create your own Downton-style wardrobe. Helping us to do so is sewing cafe proprietor Lisa Comfort. <laughs> Lovely to see you, Lisa. Uh -huh. Was really, I mean, I think we started to wear something. Yeah, I think lengthening dresses is much more in now. I think we're, we're moving away from the mini skirt. We're going longer and elegant and more chic. That's what we like, longer, elegant, more chic. Well, we visited Lisa's sewing cafe in South London to find out just how she does it. The first tip she had for us was how to achieve the fabulous flapper look. <laughs> The longer style of the dresses in Downton Abbey is really elegant and slimming, but most of what we have in our wardrobes are too short for that look. So what I'm going to show you today is how to lengthen them so we can have that lovely elegant dress as well. To make this dress a Downton length, I think I'm going to need to add about 25 centimetres of fabric on the bottom. So first we need to measure the dress and work out how much fabric we want to add. That's 54 centimetres, so times that by two gives me 108. And we need to add extra fabric to those measurements so that we can have room to sew, otherwise we'll be sewing right on the edge. Now we need to mark the fabric and then cut it out. Now we have a strip of fabric, we are going to join those ends and stitch them together. Then we're going to take the strip and add it to the bottom of the dress, pin it and stitch it round. And the last step, we just need to hem the bottom of the dress so it's nice and neat. And there we have it, one down to length dress. Lisa, you wouldn't think that just adding 10 inches to the bottom of the dress would change its style, the way it hangs, the way you walk in it, the way everything really. It's a completely different garment, isn't Absolutely, it? and it's so simple. It's just literally a strip. Now, you could add a much longer strip and make something a maxi length or keep it on that midi length. So, yeah, really, really easy. Day or evening? Evening, I think, but with yeah. evening, yeah, with some nice jewels. I nice think. long pearls. Yes, flapper like sack pearls. Yeah. Now, what have you done with this one here? This one's just been nipped in round the waist, so we're showing off the waist more, and then I've added some buttons just to add a little bit of accent on the shoulder and the That's, waist oh, as well. Daddy, I could do that. You could do I that. I don't know I could nip the waist in, <laughs> but I could add the buttons. I can sew on a button. You can, oh, that's good. <laughs> well, the other essential part of Downton, of course, is the blouses. Long sleeves, high necks, but delicate lace. Dowager Countess had mastered power dressing long before Joan Collins did so in the 1980s. Here's Lisa to show you how to do the same. I love the lace work of the blouses in Downton. And with just a little strip of lace like this, a needle and thread or a sewing machine, you can transform your blouses and save a fortune. There's lots of different laces you can use. There's a crocheted lace. We've also got some embroidered lace here and more delicate lace like this one, all different widths as well. I found this lovely green lace though, which I think would be a fab Downton replica lace. So the first thing we need to do is see how much lace we're going to need and cut that off. And then we can pin that on and I'm going to run that through the middle of the button placket. There we go. I'm now going to take a needle and thread and we're going to do a little stitch to anchor ourselves down and then I'm going to do a little back stitch all the way through the lace, keeping my stitches quite nice and small. And then you can just tie a knot to secure it. And that's all there is to it. And here it is, finished. And here it is, Ta -da. all done. Yeah. I particularly love what you've done with this cardi. I mean, it's a Razzle sort of cerise it. But it's fab. It's suddenly because it was really rather a plain, you know, pleasant, jolly colour. But 
Tell me what you've done here. So we've got some um, ribbon here with shearing elastic in it, which then gives it that frilly bit. Right. And we've done the same down there. This is hand stitch and that's machine stitch. And then we've just machine stitch on some, some lace as well. And no one else will have that card. That's unique to you. Completely you can do whatever unique. you want. Exactly. And presumably when you get a bit weary of it, easy enough to unpick and do something yeah, else on it. Big, absolutely. Are people doing this now more than they were? Are people customising clothing? They more? are. I think people are getting sick of having the same thing as everyone else, yeah. you know, walking into an event and everyone else is in the same dress or something similar. So customising allows you to do that and you don't need to be an expert. Everyone can it do it. It does put a spring in your step, I think, when you go out and you think, well, I've done this, I wonder if anybody will notice. Yeah. Well, rather than simply imitate what we see, see on screen of course it's also possible to be inspired by the look but to do something more daring yes gentlemen I am talking to you the men's clothes in downtown are smart and in muted colors but I think the lovely beading on the ladies clothes would work really well on a men's shirt so I'm going to show you how you can embellish this shirt to create a unique piece there's loads of different types of beads you can choose from got larger beads. I think that's a bit too chunky for the look we're going for. And then we've got bugle beads. And I think they would work best for what I'm going to do. When you're sewing on beads, you want to use nylon thread that's nice and clear and doesn't show up. And I'm going to start by going from underneath. And with bugle beads, you can thread on a couple at a time. Push them down the thread. Use the needle to hold them in place and then pop the needle back down at the end of the second bead. Then what you do is you go up in between the two beads and stitch through the last bead just by itself. And you can see already it's starting to take shape. So as you can see this takes quite a long time. So if I was finishing off there, what I'd do is take the thread to the back and then just do another little stitch at the back before tying off the knot. And there you have it, a little bit of sparkle in no time. Oh, I'd be ready for a little bit of sparkle. And you can do it while you're watching the telly. You don't have to sit down and exactly. concentrate. Exactly, it's a perfect TV watching project. Well, yep. with a black bow tie on there, that's quite a, a sparkly yeah, sort of... No uh, one else will have it either. Yeah. And for ladies too, so you've just beaded here, a, what, a sort of chemise? Yeah, so this is just a basic blouse, and, and I, ba I just added a band, so it's a much more of a striking piece, yeah. and with the larger beads as well, then it's going to stand out sure. a lot more. So what happens at your sewing cafe? Well, we, we learn to sew, so we yeah. have 30 different sewing classes. Oh, so you teach people. We teach to... people, exactly. And then also, we, you can come in and you can pay £5 an hour and hire the machines, and then there's experts there on hand to help you with whatever your project oh, is. I'll be down. All with tea and cake as well. Oh, with tea and, All tea tea and, and buns. Cake. We'll have a tea and buns. <laughs> and you've got your book out as well, Least Comfort. So over it, I do like the title. Isn't that a nice <laughs> play on words? All hints, tips and wrinkles Absolutely. on how to jolly up your wardrobe. Exactly. All this sorts of thing that we've been discussing today is in Wonderful. there. Thank you for brightening our lives. My thanks to Lisa Comfort. <laughs> so the Cummings Wednesday afternoon is being hailed as the first modern opera singer. The amazing Noah Stewart will be in the studio performing a Sound of Music medley. Having restored her own elegant country pile, Sarah Bean is back with advice to help you create your dream home. See you in a couple of ticks.